Okay, so here we have um, a circuit and um, of course uh, here's the battery. This is the positive terminal, it's always the big terminal. Um, the, the small terminal is always the negative one. And, um, and we have, uh, we see that the battery has a it's a it's a strong battery here 24 volts and here's a, a battery that's not as strong 6 volts so we know that this battery is going to overpower the circuit and that the um, the direction of flow of current will be in this direction because this one will be stronger um, and so the total voltage for this uh, um, bat uh, for the circuit uh, will be uh, 18 volts because of this one will overpower the other one. It will try to push current in this direction, but uh, overall the net flow of current will be in this direction um, because of the strength of this battery. So what is the resultant EMF or electromotor force for the battery? It's, <clears throat> it's going to be 18 volts. And so uh, 10 is B. And as uh, Acer does sometimes, uh, they set up the second question with, with the uh, uh, the first question and so they ask what is the current flowing in the circuit of course we use uh, <clears throat> uh, Ohm's law which is V is equal to IR <clears throat> you know you may or may not know but I put a, uh, a formula list online for anybody to consult um, you can just google uh, GAMSAT uh, formula list or gold standard GAMSAT formula list and um, you'll find it so Ohm's law is one of the formulas you absolutely must memorize. Its voltage is equal to current times resistance, and the voltage we, we've already uh, determined is eight uh, volts, and uh, that's going to equal to the current. Then we just have to evaluate what the resistance is. So uh, we look at the um, battery and the battery, is, uh, sorry, the circuit, and the circuit is in series. Uh, it's all in a row. It doesn't have any junctions that are crossing. So because it's all in a row, um, we just use the uh, formula for R total for um, resistors in a series. It's just R1 plus R2 plus R3, etc. So we just have to add uh, the resistances, and we have um, one resistor at 1 ohm, the other one 4.5, and the other one at 0.5. So that's uh, 6 ohms. So the total resistance is 6, and uh, so that means that uh, we have 3 amps or 3 amperes uh, of current. <clears throat> just to mention that if it was, um, of course, um, a parallel circuit, then the total resistance uh, across um, would be 1 over R total uh, is equal to 1 over R1 uh, plus 1 over R2. And the other thing that they like to ask sometimes uh, on the exam is they uh, would like you to know that the total resistance across uh, parallel uh, resistors or organized in this way is less than the total resistance if it was in series. So that's just something that uh, um, even if uh, you didn't know, you could always calculate. You can just take the number one and say all the resistors are one and then try it this way with the resistors being one and you'll see that it's true. And if you uh, want to uh, read up more on uh, circuits, uh, you can do so uh, 10.3 about batteries and EMF or 10.1 um, about uh, Ohm's law. <laughs>